This is Phil Hinton and welcome to another video here on avforums.tv. Today we're at Panasonic's Hollywood Labs in Hollywood and we're here to see a brand new projector and it's a 3D model. Well today we're at Panasonic Holly Laboratory because we just launched our newest uh, home theater projector, the PT-A7000U and in Europe it'll be the PT-AT5000U. Um, so it is our first Full HD 3D projector, LCD projector, and it was, it was the first time we premiered it to the public. This projector is special in many ways. In terms of 2D, we have uh, significantly improved the 2D image quality with brighter image with a new redfish lamp, and we have increased contrast ratio. Uh, we've tripled the contrast ratio going from our previous model, the A4000, to the A7000 from 100,000 to 1 to 300,000 to 1 contrast ratio. So in terms of 2D, you get a huge uh, increased dynamic range, so you see more punch in the images. And in terms of 3D, uh, this is our first 3D, uh, 3D Full HD projector, so you'll be able to see very clear 3D in our, our product. And for us as Panasonic in 3D, what we strove was um, we wanted to really deliver a very uh, comfortable and safe viewing 3D. So we've added lots of techno features into the 3D. So you see minimal crosstalk and very, very comfortable uh, image quality for 3D. Some people might be surprised you're using LCD technology. Was there a reason behind that? Well, there are reasons. Um, several reasons why we chose LCD over other technology. And as you know, our AE series has been using the LCD technology. And one of the reasons is because LCD technology does have better gradations and bit rates. So um, because we have been collaborating with the profes uh, Hollywood professionals here in Hollywood, they really want that fine gradations and else for us LCD can deliver that uh, the, the best out of all the technologies in the market so gradation is one thing and then for us to create that minimal crosstalk we've actually uh, have our black box technology within the um, within the actually the overdrive technology that helps the drive the 480 hertz panel and that really delivers a very crisp clear 3d and that could only for us be done through the lc technology you know i was very encouraged the first time i saw it was yesterday and uh, i was very encouraged by the brightness by the lack of crosstalk uh, by the, uh, uh, the the sheer boldness of coming out with a yet another model of a projector that's that much better. The strengths of the projector are, are in, in, in its ability to, uh, uh, to go between 2D and 3D uh, and also to convert 2D to 3D on the fly. That's a pretty remarkable trick. The strength of the brightness of the, of the bulb, the new, uh, the new size of the bulb, uh, the uh, clarity, the depth of the blacks, the contrast ratio, they're all pluses in this, this equipment. Well, lack of crosstalk is definitely one thing because um, one of the comments we got received from the Hollywood professionals and also from Panasonic Hollywood Laboratory who has very, very strict eyes and don't really give us too many uh, good compliments all the time is that they told us that from all the consumer products they've seen in uh, the industry right now, they told us that we have the most minimal crosstalk. So very, very, very proud that we got that comment and just even they are within Panasonic, but they're very, very they, they don't really get compliments that much. So we're very, very happy that we were able to deliver that much quality um, with the 3D. We've had uh, uh, talks from cinematographers today regarding the quality of the projector. How closely have you worked with 
Hollywood and what's the reasons for working closely with Hollywood? Mm -hmm. The reasons for us to work with the Hollywood specialists and professionals is because again with the image qualities we really wanted to create what was recreate at home is what was originally intended by the directors of photography and the producers themselves because as a manufacturer we're not delivering what we believe to be a good image quality but we need to deliver to our customers what was intended by those people who originally produced those movies so basically our philosophy behind it was we wanted to go and and deliver to the consumers true image quality. And so we have been coming to Hollywood over for ever since uh, 2003 with our A500. And we have been working together with many, many colorists and director of photographies and producers to really fine tune the image quality of our A series projectors. The PTA 4000 had some, some brilliant features such as the 235 to 1 zoom mode for those mm -hmm. who want to have a, a cinemascope screen. Mm -hmm. Does that technology cross over to the new model? Yes, the very popular feature that was in the PTA 4000, the intelligent lens memory, um, that really increased the number of users who were using cinemascope screen, aspect screens, so more true to what was intended at the screens, and that was their intention, and that is being continued on the A7000 as well. So, uh, obviously, we're all excited about this new product now. When do we get to see it? Um, for general public, you'll be able to get this, you will be able to see it at Cedia in the IFA show, and it will start shipping in uh, September. So there we have it. It's the Panasonic AT5000. It's coming to Europe in September, and stay tuned to AV Forums for more details and, of course, a review when we get our sample. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon. Beep, beep.